Iverson built the best team of the Saudi Pro League. This team has Cristiano Ronaldo, Karim Benzema, and even N'Golo Conte. Bro, this team is so good that Brozovic, Neves, and Henderson don't even make the starting 11. And in today's video, I'm gonna take over this Saudi All-Stars team for the next 10 seasons. The goal is to see how many trophies we can win and help Saudi Arabia dominate football. But here's the twist. We're putting the Saudi All-Stars team in the Premier League to see if they can survive the world's best league. Oh man, this is how going to be a really good challenge because although the Saudi All-Stars have a ridiculous team, the Premier League ain't no joke. So here we are starting off with Season 1 and of course guys, this is the Saudi All-Stars team. Our budget is going to be unlimited. We've got all the oil money we want to spend but we got to follow the rules of the TakeOver series. Only two transfers every season and for this challenge we're only allowed to sign players aged above 32 but if and when we qualify for the Champions League, that rule is gone and we can sign whoever we want maybe even killing Mbappe to start with guys I think this team is ready for the Premier League there is enough talent like at the back you've got Alex Telles and Koulibaly Millie Savage and N'Golo Conte in midfield that midfield can literally probably even win the Champions League and then you've got a Ballon d'Or winner in Benzema five time Ballon d'Or winner in Ronaldo as well but we could still do with a centre back and a right back we've got the money but yeah we've got to sign players aged 32 and above until we, of course, make it to the Champions League. I think, honestly, if we make a couple of good signings, we can qualify for Champions League in the first season itself. I think I have just the perfect player to make our first signing, and that's Kyle Walker from Man City. He's 32, perfectly fits the bill, and he's 84 rated as well. Let's do it. Okay, why is Pep Guardiola not wearing his T-shirt? I, I just don't get it. Don't you worry, Kyle. You won't have to see a shirtless Pep Guardiola anymore at the training ground, because we've signed you for the Saudi All-Stars team. All right, that's our defense really improved and all we need now is a quality center back and we're good to go. It's got to be Sergio Ramos, boys. We're building a Saudi all-star team and no Sergio Ramos. Nah, we can't let that happen. And so we've got Sergio Ramos securing the bags as well and joining the all-stars. Honestly, this team is absolutely crazy. I'm expecting it to qualify for Champions League. I mean, come on, we've got Ronaldo and Benzema up top. First game of the Premier League season against Everton. I'm really cute to seeing how the Saudi All-Stars do. So let's see what happens in the first game. A win would be nice. And there you go. Benzema and Ronaldo scoring the goals. I'm telling you, boys, the Saudi All-Stars are going to crush the Premier League. We're getting through the Premier League season and my expectations are pretty high. All right, guys, we've made it to the end of the first season. And whoa, we, we're in the top four. Al Nasser, which is basically the Saudi All-Stars. No, no, no way. The Saudi All-Stars have literally conquered the Premier League. Are you actually joking. The funny thing is Newcastle, who are owned by Saudi Arabia, Bruh. they're in sixth while the All-Stars are number one. And so with that, we've secured trophy number one. And we've secured an FA Cup as well. Make that two trophies. Obviously, this season we weren't in the Champions League or even the Europa League or even the Conference League. But with the way things are going, the Saudi All-Stars are going to be a force to reckon with. I mean, look at Cristiano Ronaldo at the age of 38, conquering the Premier League. Benzema did pretty well too. But honestly, guys, I think few Future seasons are going to be pretty tricky because, well, a lot of these players are getting older. But in this first season, a couple of trophies, not bad at all. And let's see what happens in season two. What am I seeing, guys? While I was recording this video, apparently Marco Verratti has reached an agreement with Al Hilal and he's very likely to join the Saudi club. Okay, maybe for season two, now that we're going to be in the Champions League and the age rule is gone, we could possibly sign Marco Verratti. To be honest, though, Marco Verratti is not the player we need right now. Like, We've got Mili Savic and Conte there, Brozovic and Ruben Neves, Henderson too. For now, we'll keep the Verratti deal on hold and let's make use of while we're in the Champions League to sign some young players because the ages in our team is honestly a bit crazy. We won't be able to sustain this. Look at Ronaldo. He's already down to 84, Ramos to 80, Benzema and, you know, the likes of Kyle Walker, Koulibaly have retained their overall, but we need to get some youngsters in. And I'm thinking, let's go a bit crazy and bring in maybe a centre-back and also so a left winger. Oh, and we do still have the oil money. I'm in no mood to mess about, boys. We're trying to get global domination for Saudi Arabia. And for that, signing someone like Ruben Diaz. Oh boy, he might help us even win the Champions League. Once again, we're negotiating with the naked Pep Guardiola. I just don't get this game. But anyways, Ruben Diaz joins the Saudi All-Stars. Oh man, that backline with Diaz and Koulibaly is just crazy. Oh wow, this makes our left winger signing rather simple because apparently 
Saint Maximin is joining Al Ahli. It's not completely confirmed, so that's why we couldn't just directly transfer him to our team. But I think for our second transfer for the season, this is not a bad choice. Saint Maximin, welcome to the Saudi All Stars. Gotta say, Project Saudi All Stars is actually going incredibly well. Now with that team, let's get through another season. This time around, we're gonna be in the Champions League as well. We've made it to the end of the season, and this time around, it's a bit of a reality check with Al Nasser finishing fourth. That's what I'm telling you. It's not going to take us much from getting kicked out of the top four. We need to continuously improve the Saudi All-Stars. Did we win any trophy? And looks like, yes, the Community Shield. So trophy number three in the bag. But looks like that's it because we didn't win any of the domestic cups. But how did we fare in our first season in the Champions League? Second in the group. Oh, wow. We knocked out Leipzig and Dortmund and Roma. Yo, we had a super easy run. And now we're in the Champions League final against Barca. This is with Saudi Arabia probably wanted to conquer Europe and we're probably almost there. Oh, and look at Ronaldo. He's down to 82 overall. Benzema 85 as well. But they've still had ridiculous seasons. I can't believe how good Ronaldo has been. But bro, if we already win the Champions League, that would be just freaking insane. Let's see what happens. Al Nasser versus Barcelona. And we've actually done it. Champions League in just our second season with the Saudi All-Stars. This is crazy. Trophy number four has been secured. This rate, this might literally end up being one of the craziest takeovers we've ever done. We might end up breaking the record as well. Oh no, this is a problem. After winning the Champions League, looks like Ronaldo has decided to retire finally at the age of 39. Season three, we're gonna have to replace him. Before we get stuck in a season three, I was just checking out the takeover record and for FIFA 23, it's 27 trophies. And we somehow did that with Spurs. Honestly, the Saudi All-Stars already on four trophies in the first couple of seasons with unlimited money. We need to go for that record. This season, we've got a couple of transfers and we can sign anyone we want. And I think it's time. If we want to win all the trophies, we've got to sign the best players and let's just bring in the world's best player. Kylian Mbappe is anywhere linked with a Saudi club. I don't know if he's going to go there or not, but for now, let's make it happen. Oh my God, this is crazy. We're going to offer like 220, 230 million because it's Mbappe, man. Almost 238 million for Kylian Mbappe. I kind of feel bad. We're kind of ruining his career, bringing him to Southie, but it's not really Southie, is it? It's the All-Stars team in the Premier League. So Mbappe can still win the Ballon d'Or, the Champions League and everything. The team is honestly looking insane, but we could really do with a better fullback. So I went ahead and brought in Rico Lewis. Honestly, I know he's kind of low rated at 75, but we do need some youngsters with high potential because our squad otherwise looks pretty much like an old age home. Uh-oh, I've wasted my two signings without realizing that we didn't really have a backup keeper. Oh, this is bad. I'm just hoping Mendy does not get injured this season. Honestly, if Mendy gets injured, we're really going to get relegated. Wait a minute. What just happened? We went from being a top-level Premier League club to winning the Champions League in all to now 13th? Are you actually kidding me? No way. Have we been destroyed in all competitions? No cup competitions for us this season. Thankfully, we do win the UEFA Super Cup, so at least we get something. That's trophy number five. But my God, we got humiliated in the Champions League round of 16. 9-3. What went wrong with the Saudi All-Stars? We even had Kylian Mbappe, but oh no. Oh, we didn't have a goalkeeper. Where did Mendy the fraud go? Nah, dude. Seriously, Mendy, he knew we didn't have another keeper. Instead, he ended up still leaving. Where did he go? Bruh. His contract expired. I'm such an idiot. But how did his contract expire mid-season? He was literally there with us at the start. I really don't get this. We're now in season four and we need to bring in a couple of goalkeepers. Last season, because of not having any keepers, it completely ruined our season. Problem is, because we didn't qualify for Champions League last time around, we're once again gonna have to follow the 32 age rule. Good thing is we're trying to bring in keepers and they're usually old. We're now three seasons into career mode and so Kortua is 33 years old and we can definitely sign him. And there you go, guys. We've got our first goalkeeper coming into the team and Kortua. Ah, finally, poor Taliska won't have to play in goal. I can't believe he played as a goalkeeper for more than half a season. Okay, also just Courtois, I don't think is going to be enough. Let's let's bring in a backup keeper. Ideally, I would love to sign a young keeper to just give us some depth. But because of not being in the Champions League, we can only sign a player that's above the age of 32. Just managed to sign Nick Pope, and that should be enough for squad depth. Uh, but it's frustrating that we had to waste a couple of our signings on goalkeepers this season, because the rest of the team, well, we need to improve squad depth. Suddenly, managing the Southie all-stars is proving to be
be challenging. I don't know how many trophies we'll end up winning over these 10 seasons. Right now, though, we're on five. And this season, I'm hoping that we can add to it. We've made it to the end of the season. It's a relief to not be 13th. And this season, we do get back into the top four. That means next season, we will be in the Champions League. But I'm hoping we won some sort of a trophy. Well, not the Carabao Cup, but the FA Cup. And we weren't in the Champions League this season. So that's frustrating. I'm not going to lie. Since Ronaldo retired, the team hasn't been the same. Although Kylian Mbappe is trying to do his best. But look at that. Benzema is pretty much going to retire soon as well. We got to make some signings and reinforce the team for season five. That's for sure. I feel like we started off this Al Nasser takeover right over here, winning all the trophies and Champions Leagues and everything. And then, you know, the big players retired and here we are. But this season, we're going to change that. I've got some ideas for transfers. I reckon if we bring in a center forward to play behind Mbappe and probably a world-class defender, we should be good to go. And for me, that center forward is going to be a player that's kind of been forgotten these days. Yup, it's Chao Felix. I feel like him joining Atletico Madrid was the worst decision he's, I think, ever made. Because he then got loaned out to Chelsea, didn't do much, now he's stuck at Atleti. Let's save him and bring him to the Saudi All-Stars. We're making the most of being in the Champions League because that allows us to sign whoever we want. I do not know when we'll be kicked out of that competition again. So we're making the most of it, bringing Chao Felix in. For the centre-back position, I'm thinking Lisandro Martinez. The only reason being, I've been seeing him play in preseason, just absolutely taking out players for no reason. My man does not understand the difference between preseason and Champions League. He's going to play like a warrior in every game. And that's exactly what the Saudi All-Stars need. So, Lisandro Martinez, we're giving you the bag and he joins the team. Now, I can tell you that this season has been very fruitful in terms of signings. Also, look at Rico Lewis. I told you signing a youngster like him was going to be clutch. Look at him now. I think I didn't even realize, but Kyle Walker has retired or maybe he's left the club. Nope, he's actually retired. So, I'm so glad we signed Rico Lewis. Anyways, it feels like ages since we've won trophies. So, let's get back to it. The season comes to an end and no way. We finish outside the top four. That means no Champions League for next season. Honestly, I don't get how we're not finishing top four winning the league with this team. Like, we've got Mbappe, Jao Felix, our backline, our goalkeeper. Everything is insane. Okay, at least tell me we won some other trophies. Well, not the FA Cup. Burnley won it over us. No Carabao Cup as well. I can't believe this, guys. We've been knocked out in this group. This group is useless and we got knocked out. You'd think we'd maybe win the Europa League, but nope. nope, we got knocked out by Arsenal. And so after five seasons, we've got just five trophies. Here I was thinking we'd be breaking records, but things have kind of calmed down. We need to somehow get this team back on track. Since we once again failed to qualify for Champions League, we can only sign players above the age of 32. <sighs> we've no choice but to work with it somehow. I'm looking at this team and I think what we need is a better left back for sure. And maybe a right winger, but... 32 year old right wingers i really don't know who we can get so let's figure out after a bit of scouting for the left back position i managed to find furlan mendy he's actually 32 years old so literally on the limit 84 rated can't go wrong with that okay guys we may have a problem here the only good right winger i found was dominico Berardi, and he's gonna be of no use how do we improve the team with this rule that we've got oh it's getting really frustrating okay i may have an idea mbappe at right wing and and signing a new striker because we should be able to get an older striker without much of a problem. This might be the only way and hopefully with this we can get back to winning the big trophies. This is perfect guys. Harry Kane is 33 and we can add him to our team. And so we have Harry Kane join the Saudi All-Stars. Honestly guys, we were forced to improvise so much. I'm just hoping Kane up top, Mbappe right wing, that dynamic works. And there you go, we've made Mbappe a right winger. He's being sacrificed just a little bit, but it's for the team. Guys, just look at how could the Saudi All-Stars look? Seriously, we've got to get back to the Champions League at the very least, but I'm kind of expecting us to win the Premier League. All right, we've made it to the end of the season and let's see where we finished. Okay, this is a good sign so far and top four, but only fourth. I think we've built a team that can win the Premier League, but it's just not clicking. Maybe we need some youngsters and next season, we will be able to sign them. Uh, but again, it's looking like another trophy-less season. What went wrong? We made it to the semis of the Europa our league but got knocked out to Dinamo Zagreb. Are you kidding me? It feels like ages since we've won a trophy. But hey, at least one good thing that happened. Kylian Mbappe and Harry Kane played really well together. That's that's a good sign. All right, guys, it's been way too long since we've won a trophy. It's time to fix that. Since we're in the Champions League, we're allowed to sign whoever we
we want. And this season, I'm about to go crazy. Starting with Chuameni. Look at his stats, guys. He's 89 rated, 28 years old. This is the kind of player we need. But boy, are we not done yet. Next up, we're going crazy and signing a player from Barcelona. Yes, it's Ansu Fati. With these couple of signings, look at our team, man. This is literally an all-star team. Come on, we've got to get back to winning trophies. It's been way too long. Uh, still not good enough to win the Premier League as we finish third, but hey, at least we're in the Champions League and we can bring in some top class signings. But come on, let's at least win a trophy. No FA Cup, no Carabao Cup as well. How do we do in the Champions League? Well, we had a perfect record in the group. Ooh, we knocked out Leipzig. We'll take that. And Real Madrid, okay. And Barcelona, what is going on? And here we face Inter. We could actually win our second Champions League with the All-Stars. Like, that is a bit wild. And we actually pull it off. Kylian Mbappe in that right wing role has been clutch and would you look at that trophy number six although we won the champions league boys i'm not gonna get complacent this is a chance for us to build upon and we can maybe win like a lot of trophies in the next three seasons that's the goal we're kicking season eight off with a bang as we just sign alfonso davies this is an awesome signing boys he's 89 rated and the left back position with mendy was kind of where we were losing out on so davies just fills that spot brilliantly but now we need to make a big decision who do we sign for the striker position because Kane is losing out on overalls. We can sign anyone we want. Do we just go crazy? I mean, this video is about building an all-stars team, so why not just go with Erling Haaland? If you remember, we had to pay 200 million for Kylian Mbappe. How much are we going to have to pay for Prime Haaland? I think his contract was expiring, so it's a bit unfair, but 160 million. There you go. We've literally got Haaland at the Saudi All-Stars. I cannot believe the team we're building. Honestly, guys, what a team we've built. Like, this is crazy. Comment down below if this is the craziest team you've seen. Oh, and while you're down there, make sure to subscribe as well. We're trying to hit 1 million subscribers and I need your help. We're now making it through another Premier League season. Hopefully we can add some more trophies. This season I want to try and win it all. Let's go guys. After so long, we've got the All-Stars back at the top. Saudi Pro League's All-Stars have won another Premier League. That's trophy number 7. Yet I was thinking we'll be breaking the takeover leaderboard record but nope, no chance. Ah, we lost an FA Cup final too. Oh, in the Champions League, we got knocked out but wait a minute since we won it last season UEFA Super Cup let's go we win that and secure trophy number eight eight seasons eight trophies we've got two seasons more left and I'm just hoping we can maybe reach 12 to 13 trophies I think that'd be a good count to end on it's time for season nine and it's time to bring in some regens to the club I'm 100% sure that this kid is Manuel Neuer's regen and there's no reason not to sign him Courtois was definitely getting a bit old so it made sense to get an 89 rated keeper to make our team even more insane. But look who I found next. It's Sasa Jelavic. You might be thinking, who on earth is he? But I'm pretty sure this guy is Luka Modric's regen. He looks incredible. Let's bring him in. And there you go. We've got another regen in our team, Sasa Jelavic, and he looks insane. By the way, look at this. Bruh. N'Golo Conte is literally our lowest rated player now. But hey, he's still got that smile on his face. With the regens joining in, we're making it through another season. I guess signing those regens was clutch because we've won the Premier League. That's trophy number nine. Ooh, make that trophy number 10. This is turning out to being our most productive season. Make that 11. We've won a domestic treble now. And let's freaking go. We've made the Champions League final as well. This would legit be the third Champions League title for the Saudi All-Stars. But can they get it done? Let's find out. And yup, yup, yup. We've not lost a single Champions League final with the Saudi All-Stars. Bro, this team that we've built is crazy. And we've got one more season left. We're now in our final season with the Saudi All-Stars and I'll be honest, we don't really need to make any signings this season. This team is freaking insane. So, let's add more trophies. Final season for the Saudi All-Stars and well, we're out of the Champions League. But we do end up winning the Premier League and securing our 13th trophy. Oh, come on. We could have won the Community Shield and added one more. We do win the FA Cup, so make that 14. And the Super Cup is number 15. Honestly, guys, I think over these 10 seasons, we've built an amazing team 15 trophies i think saudi arabia have definitely dominated global football if you enjoyed this grind over 10 seasons i'm sure you'll enjoy me take over psg but with the extreme edition rules click here to watch that that video was awesome